What's up guys, Totally Dubbed here and uh, today I'm going to show you how to flash over JVP uh, so that's Android 2.3.4 so currently um, I'm on um, Android 2.3.3 um, on Dark Core 2.3 and on um, Darkies uh, Deodex X W J V H. This is the base ROM for J V H. Now I will explain all of that uh, in in a, just a moment after I've shown you um, how to flash it. Um, so basically, all your questions and um, why should I flash this or whatnot, um, I will explain as I'm flashing it. So first of all, what we want to do? I mean, literally, I've just booted this up. I've just flashed it through Odin. Um, I will post a guide in the description, a, a YouTube guide that I've already made for a flashing JVH base ROM. So uh, don't worry about that guys, if you want to know that, just look in the description, it'll be there. Also I'll put it in a vi video response, so look in the, look in the comments below. So uh, first of all we want to sign into the market and uh, most probably I won't be even signed in with my Google account, there you go. As you can see, fresh, so I'm just going to sign in now. Right, once you've uh, just signed in. Just go next, finish setup, agree, or accept even. <laughs> right, so the thing you want to download is Darky Configurator app. So we're going to go to search, Darky ROM Configurator. It's free to download. I'm going to download this. Now the reason we're downloading this is because we can customize our JVP installation. Um, and that will allow us to, you know, customize what we want and whatnot. So just now I'm just drawing up the information of what you can and can't um, put or tick, shall I say. Right, so once it's um, installed, we're going to open up the application. And uh, yes, it is um, a little bit outdated. Um, however, um, just follow what I say and you'll understand um, exactly what you'll get. So wipe the device, uh, that's optional. Seeing as I've just repartitioned via Odin, um, there's no real need to wipe the device, but I'm, I'm going to select it anyway because I want a nice clean install. So you don't have to put that, that is optional, that is up to you. So wipe the device is optional. Kernel, put Dark Voodoo, uh, that's the one. You'll get um, Dark Core 2.7.2. There's a newer one which I will, uh, I will show you later on in this video on how to flash using kernel flasher. Um, however, you want to just put select uh, dark voodoo. Modem, uh, put the recommended or you can skip modem if you want. I would suggest going for recommended and then um, after if you want to change modem you can easily flash that uh, through um, um, CWM3. So um, ad hoc support is not supported, circle battery uh, icon is not supported, grey settings are not supported, boot animations are not supported, social um, apps are supported, so you can tick that. Uh, lock screen wallpaper is not supported. Swipe is supported. Live wallpaper is supported. Extra fonts is supported. However, will not install 30 fonts, but instead about four or three fonts. And third party apps are also um, supported. However, for me, um, I do not want third party apps. I don't want social apps either. And I'll keep the extra fonts and live wallpapers and swipe. So there we go. That's what you need to do in the Darky Configurator. Right, so once you've done that, we want to go and check that uh, we can go into USB debugging mode. Um, like so. So it's ticked. Connect your USB, connect it to your computer. And uh, just before I do that, this is, again, you do not have to do this, but I'm just going to wipe my internal SD card. Um, this is again, I want nice, clean install. Um, if you do not want to do this, again, if you've backed up apps or whatever, you don't have to do this. Um, I just did that because um, I want, as I said, a nice, clean install. So I'm just going to wait until uh, just this syncs up. Right, once that's done, connect uh, your USB in. Go into USB debugging mode and connect your PC up. I'll show you up here now my computer. Bruges, uh, Belgium. So we, we want two files here. We want Facetto JVP CWM3 V3, the zip file, and we want Dark Core 2.7.3 JVP. 
both zip files so we copy that across and as you can see there's my internal SD completely clean all you can see there really is my external SD which will have uh, my music and whatnot and you know DCIM everything is empty so I'm gonna paste this straight in there right so once it's done you can close it close the folder go down to SGS and disconnect unplug right so um, here is uh, my files Facetto JVP CWM3 V3 and Dark Core 2.7.3 JVP. Now, Facetto's JVP CWM3 will flash a Dark Core 2.7.2, .2, not 3. So that's why we have it in there. Um, and so now we're just going to go into recovery. Install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. Um, just to show you. My Voodoo is enabled. Uh, you can keep it enabled um, or you can disable it. Uh, it's completely up to you. Um, I'm just going to keep it enabled um, simply because uh, we're flashing from dark core to dark core and therefore there shouldn't be any problems um, with uh, Voodoo. So install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, Fisetto's JVP CWM3 V3.zip. Click that. Right, so now why am I doing it on um, JVH um, stock and why am I not installing JVP stock? Because seeing as we're installing JVP now, why, why not install JVP uh, stock? The reason why is because JVP stock at the moment, as of the 10th of June 2011, is still a stock ROM. In other words, it does not have clockwork it does not it's not theoretically rooted so therefore you have to do those steps and in order to do those steps you, you'll have to you know, either download apps or you'll have to install other files uh, to do that and you know that might cause other problems so why get into the trouble of flashing over stock when you can flash over a ROM which has all of that already in other words you can just jump all those steps and go straight into the installation like I'm doing now if you are a, a dark user already and you're on 10.1 Extreme Edition, i.e. the full edition released by Darky, or if you're on a Serico's 10.1.2 Lite, or if you're on 10.1 Resurrection, on f the Odin version uh, made by Facetto, um, you can just reboot this. Um, you can just flash as I just did now. Um, JVP. You do not have to, I repeat, you do not have to install anything via Odin. You can straight away go without wipe uh, on the Darky Configurator app and select your options and you can go straight from 10.1 to JVP. You will not have any errors and um, d and Facetto has made it his best, um, has tried to do his best to make it that you do not have any problems. That's why we have been testing it. Um, well, Serico and some other guys which got um, uh, in a private message, uh, we've been testing it out. And for example, myself, I uh, realized that you cannot add boot animations to JVP. So it's all in a testing stage at the moment. However, it's progressing very rapidly and Facetto has done an extremely, extremely good job. And I'm sure linked with Darky, they'll make a great JVP ROM. JVP is already very fast in comparison to 2.3.3 and I truly recommend going on to it. Although it's not as much customized, uh, you know, it's not, you can't customize it as much and whatnot. And obviously it's not as stable at the moment. Um, I can see a lot of um, potential in JVP 2.3.4 and also it's been reported that it could possibly solve the Android OS bug that loads of people have had on 10.1 Extreme Edition. So that is why I have flashed JVH base. Um, I wanted a clean install. Um, I was um, I actually did funny stuff to my phone that I shouldn't have. For example, I was on JVH, I had force close problems, um, and I installed 10.1 Extreme Edition on top. So you're thinking, well, why did you go backwards? Simply because, for argument's sake, 
just to test it out for you guys first hand and because I have got a jig over here so it'll get me into download mode with no problem so I tested it first hand so another thing is do not flash 10.1 extreme edition above um, JVP if you want to go back to 10.1 extreme edition you have to flash uh, 10.1 um, resurrection so that's my suggestion that's what you have to do and um, Hopefully you've taken all the advice I've just given you on board and it will help you with uh, flashing JVP, um, especially in the future. So hopefully it's cleared up several, um, several uh, confusions that some people have had. So let me go and see if I've got any full scrolls problems. Um, could possibly that I do, but we'll see. Um, so I've booted up. You can see very, very fast indeed. And there you go. I'm on 2.3.4. JVP is my modem. As I said, that can be easily changed via clockwork. I'm on Dark Core 2.7.2. .2. Note that I installed 2.7.2 .2 via um, the CWM uh, zip, but I've got 2.7.3 still in my internal SD, and that's what I'm going to do right now. And as you can see, JVP build number. So now we're going to go back into the market, accept. As we signed in before with our Google account, uh, it should have been all saved. Let's just try and see. Although I did wipe the device. Um, so, okay. Just check something in my apps. So, Darky Configurator is still installed, which is good. Uh, but the rest of my apps are not installed yet. So, um, what we want to do is install SGS Kernel Flasher. Obviously, I can't spell either. There we go. Now, what this does, it's a great tool by made by um, XDA member Neldar, and I've I've made it in um, I've made a video of this just separately on its own because it's a great application. It allows you to install um, uh, kernels very very easily, and I'm going to demonstrate how. Um, just to check to see if um, I have got 2.7.3 in my internal SD. Yes, I do. There it is, 2.7.3.tar. And so now I'm going to open SGS Kernel Flasher, which is there. And it will ask you for SU request. You'll accept, as you can see, it's a rooted phone. Choose Kernel, Painted Directory, and 2.7.3 tick that flash kernel auto reboot was ticked so it's going to auto reboot itself and once it auto reboots itself I'll be on 2.7.3 which is uh, the latest um, kernel the dark core kernel um, uh, which is capable of well which is compatible should I say with JVP 2.3.4 Again, if you've got any questions, please do not hesitate to post them in the um, in the comments below. You can send me a private message on YouTube if you feel that you don't want to comment uh, publicly. And you can also, and I really recommend posting it on the Darkey forums, because there's loads of guys over there which will help you out. I realize my, uh, my camera is almost out of battery. Hopefully I can just quickly zoom past and show you this. 2.7.3 so guys I hope you've enjoyed this video and please do subscribe uh, really do means a lot to me and um, thank you for watching totally dubbed out bye bye